Hi, my name's Devon, and welcome to Barbell Strength number 29. New year, new workout. But as you know, I change out my Barbell Strength routine every three weeks. So guys, what you need as far as your equipment, obviously you're gonna need a barbell. This is Barbell Strength. So I recommend a bar with a selection of plates. If you don't have a barbell, it's no problem. You can use a selection of dumbbells. I'm gonna recommend anywhere from about three to 20 pounds. Now, I do have a bench today. We're gonna to be using the bench for the triceps and the chest work today, but you can modify. If you don't have a bench, you can either do your work from the floor or even take it to a glute bridge. Just to make it a little bit more intense and bring in those stabilizing muscles of the abs and the hamstrings and the glutes as well. I do have a mat for the abdominals at the end. So what can you expect over the next 60 minutes? We're gonna be doing a five to six minute warm up. Now we're gonna be moving through many moves at a pretty rapid pace. I'm gonna throw a lot of terminology at you. So if you get a little bit lost, don't get frustrated, give up. I promise you it's not addictive to the rest of the workout. We then gonna go ahead and target eight muscle groups. We're gonna start with the larger muscle groups of the legs, the chest, and the back. We then move down to the smaller muscle groups of the triceps, the biceps, the shoulders, and the abs. We roll hit the legs a second time with lunges. We will be in each song for about five to six minutes, executing approximately 100 reps per segment. However, the backtrack today is exceptionally hard. It's almost eight minutes, guys. So that one's gonna be a real challenge, okay? So if you are ready to have a great workout, you're ready to get in the best shape of your life, let's go ahead and get you set up. Now we're just gonna pick up your bar, take it in an overhand grip. I want you to roll the shoulders up, back and down, engage the core, chest is up, knees soft, heels grounded. Your hand placement is about thumb width from the outside of the thighs. Guys, as we go down into our deadlifts, please be careful not to slouch. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together and think tall, strong, and proud. Let's go. Okay, get ready for a deadlift. Take it down. Bring it up. Down three. Down two, three. Let's go straight. Just a little bit of ease. Reverse the contraction. Down one, up three. Just a little bit of maximum tension in the hamstrings. No lower. Down two, up two. Dead row. Take your knees, belly, knees, and rise. Start to psych yourself up, guys. We're about to take that bar over the head, knee, and press. You want to keep that bar close to your body throughout the lift and throughout the drop. Up, right, row, up, three, down, one, three. The bar raises the body. Elbows up to shoulder height. Up, one, down, three. You want to raise that core to that chest up. Super slow, take it forward. Three, two, are you ready? Single dead row. Four, three, and four. 
Stand three of one. I don't know about you, but I know about me. Drive. When I'm coming through, I'm getting rowdy. You want to sit back in the heels? squat track for almost seven minutes. So you're going to be doing at least 200 repetitions. Now on the second track, halfway through, you have the option to take it to a zercher squat. This is a little bit more advanced because now the bar is anterior loaded. And so what's going to happen is as you go to the squat, the weight of the bar is going to try and pull you forward out of alignment. So it's very important if you're going to attempt the zercher that you keep the core locked on, chest stays up, shoulder blades back, and you sit back into the heels. Guys, you should be able to wiggle your toes at the base of the movement. That means you have correct alignment and a strong kinetic chain. So once you've loaded up, we're gonna go ahead and safely clean and press that bar onto the meaty part of the upper back. Core is engaged, heels down, knees soft, elbows under hands, chest up. Are you guys ready? Try not to walk out the knees at 
You should be struggling to stay to the beat of music. You should be struggling to hold on to the weight. So if you weren't quite there, don't be afraid to push it. You know what, you can go heavier. It is too much. You can always lighten up again. And then next time, try two or three more reps with that heavier resistance. I promise you, you're gonna see the results real fast. Let's prepare for chest. All right, you can see how I've situated my equipment. I have my bar at the end of the bench, and I have some dumbbells to the side. So guys, we're gonna be starting with the bar. Now, ideally, you want the same weight on the bar that you just used for the squats. Remember I said the squats was the heaviest weight of the day. So if you didn't go super heavy in the squats, Maybe you can go ahead and load up a couple of extra plates. There's no surprises. We're just gonna be in a neutral grip. A neutral grip with that bench press is wherever feels comfortable for your body. So it's gonna be unique for every individual doing this video. Now, when we come to the dumbbells, we are gonna shake things up a little bit. So guys, as you come up, you're going to be rotating the pinkies together and then taking it down. Rotate in and then taking it down. Okay, so when you rotate, give me an extra contraction at the top. It's gonna to go deeper into the pec muscle and also take a little higher. Now, I'm gonna introduce a combination of a fly and a crush bench press or chest press, okay? We're gonna call it a hex press just to make it easy to cue. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fly up so the palms stay facing in. You're gonna to touch the dumbbells together. We call that a crush press and then you're going to drive it down towards the sternum, drive it back up, and back out to the fly. All right, so we're gonna call that a hex press. All right, guys, so if you're ready, make sure you have your heavily loaded bar at the end of the bench, have your dumbbells either side for a super fast transition, and let's get working. All right, guys, up three, down one. Down. Focus in here on your concentric contraction. We're going to drop it down so it's a grind and a ballistic. Reverse it. Up one. Control the descent. Again, you're bringing that bar down to the sternum. Try not to look out the elbows at the top. You want to keep that work. Focus in the pecs, driving up. That's it. So think about coming seven eighths of the way up so you know that you're not rocking out the joint. Tempo change, guys. Brakes on super slow and for four. Three, two, slow down. From the top, up three, down one. And drop. And again. Grab your dumbbells. At the bottom, 
code, tune into your body. Contract into posterior chain to lift the bar. Posterior chain, guys. Hamstrings, glutes, muscles of the lower back. Down. We're going back to a dead row. Knees, belly, knees, and rise.
a two count bicep curl. Then the drag curl, guys, I want you to pull the bar up, but take the elbows as far behind you as you can, so it's gonna take it deep into the two heads of the bicep of drag curl. All right, so again, we're gonna be doing four of each, and then cutting it down to two, all right? Thinking caps on, good attitude. All right, let's do this. Cross body, one arm is in a tension hold. Stand and have a curl. Two, now two. 
cover that one. Whew, a little bit confusing, but that was the idea, was to create muscle pairs and confusion. So hopefully your brain will be able to process it over time so we can get the full effect of hitting that muscle from every single angle. All right, guys, we have made it to legs two. We're gonna focus on the lunges. So what we're gonna need, one heavy dumbbell and also your barbell. So after the chaos of the bicep track, we're gonna really simplify everything. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, the barbell's gonna be on the meaty part of the upper back, and we're gonna be taking it down into slow rear lunges, and we'll also be adding alternate lunges. So if you don't feel too confident doing rear lunges with the bar, then you will go ahead and get yourself a heavy dumbbell, and you'll be able to follow along with us. Again, you don't have to use the weight. If you prefer not to, that is fine. If you have any kind of injury that you can't do lunges, just go ahead and do either goblet squats with the dumbbell or back squats with the barbell on the back and just stay at the same tempo as us. Now, for the second one, guys, I'm just gonna move my bar a little bit. We're gonna slow it down. Watch this. Two squats, all right? Then I'm gonna take it back to a real lunge but I'm gonna add a rotation, all right? Squat once, squat twice, step back, and then attempt to add a rotation. Then what we're gonna do is hold it in a low squat, and we're gonna be tapping the leg out to the side. Doesn't look much, wait till you try it. All right, guys, let's go ahead. If you're using your barbell, pick it up now, and let's work. All right, guys, take one leg back, Slow down for three. Now initially, we're just living that 
natural raise. Pelvis of feet to toes to shoulder height. Baby soft. Heels to ground. Now for the second one. 
We're going to lose the weight for the second exercise. You can place the hands under the lower back if you wish. Knees in, extend, slowly down for three, and then four scissors, all right? Then we're going to take it into a jackknife, and we're going to circle the legs, taking four counts around the clock. One, two, three, four. Modification is either to come to the elbows, and you can also bend the legs, okay? So with the down the elbows, bend the legs easier. And then we're just going to finish off. Crunch up for two, down for two. We're going to attempt to add a scissor. Now if that's too much for you guys, keep the feet on the floor and maybe alternate marches as you come up and down. All right? So we're going to start, pick up whatever way you think you can handle, and let's wrap it up. Here we go. And cross. Try to as few as you can afford if you need to. Now you're going to have a little modification if you need to. Keep 
Yeah. 